Welcome to the Idaho Business Podcast, the only Idaho podcast focused on providing profits for Idaho people. If you love our state and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Idaho Business Podcast with your friend, host, and all-around great guy and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. All right, guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of the Idaho Business Podcast. Uh, had a quick week break uh, you know what? I just didn't feel like recording a podcast episode. I went for a week with my family and I didn't have any episodes in uh, the bank to uh, put out. So that was my bad. And, you know, I was busy the week before and I'm not going to make excuses. I just chose not to record an episode. So I apologize for not having an episode last week, but I'm back. You're going to hear this weird voice again all right as always we're sponsored by health west uh great great organization we're also sponsored by new clean commercial cleaning uh commercial cleaning services out of Idaho falls and rexburg area uh great organizations uh if you, if you call us and you and you ask about them uh there'll be some offers that we can we can throw your way all right you know we just got done um, one, my, one of my companies, New Clean, we just got done with a uh, sponsorship event where we did, um, uh, it was a Chamber of Commerce golf event, golf scramble. Nothing serious. Uh, there's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a for fun scramble and people are just enjoying the, in life and, you know, they're drinking, they're having fun. And that's, it meet, meets our core values, our criteria to just go and throw our hat in the ring to uh, have a sponsorship table. So we always sponsor uh, a certain hole every, every year there. I think it's hole seven. And uh, we just try to have a lot of fun there. Um, so first of all, that's, a, that's what we wanted to talk about today is, you know, how to make sponsor, event sponsorship and event marketing work for you and your companies. Because I'm sure you've all thought about, okay, yeah, maybe I should in, sponsor this uh, event or this tournament or whatever it is. Okay, well, you know, I think you need to uh, ask yourself a few things here. I think sponsorships of you know local events and just putting your banner out there, like a baseball field and stuff, though, those are great. You know, gymnasiums, great because they're going going for a great cause. They're, they're supporting our communities, uh, they're supporting our, our our youth, and I think that's all great, fine and dandy. And it still gives you some brand recognition as you're up there. I think that's like a level three sponsorship out of out of level, you know, one, two, and three. Um, I think a, a version up from that would be if you have one of those sponsorship. A, a level two would be if you have a banner uh, out there as a sponsor, and they're also saying on the loudspeaker, uh, "We're also sponsored by X, Y, and Z's company." Uh, and, and giving them, hey, this if you have any X, Y, Z needs or for this product, call this number to, to access or to contact X, Y, Z company. I think that's level two uh, sponsor, sponsorship or marketing for you. I, and I think honestly, level one is what we just got done doing. When you can have a booth at an event where you know decision makers are going to be at and you can have some interesting people manning that booth for your company. Now, I was at the booth. Uh, I'm not really interesting. <laughs> I'm not much to look at, but I was there because I enjoy these events. I like to I like to goof around. That's my core values, and that's what I'm here all about. So, uh, at this booth, you know, we have number one. You want to make them look good. So, spend a couple dollars. You know, get the Get the nice little covers that go over your lifetime tables, the cheap little tables. They make the the, the uh, molded covers, just the cloth covers that say your logos on them. Honestly, you're spending, what, 150 bucks for two of them, possibly. Uh, get get some of those because they last. And you, you can reuse, reuse, reuse for any event you do. You have those, and they look really nice. And then you can store stuff underneath the table, behind the table. It's not seen because you have these nice uh 
the table covers. We have a nice canopy with our logos around it, all that fun stuff. And then have a have have some fun game. You know, we usually had like a uh, cornhole game, and the cornhole boards have like a, a a full vinyl display of a toilet, and the hole is the toilet hole, and they're throwing brown and uh, yellow cornhole ba- uh, bags into these uh, into the cornhole ball- boards. So it, it, we can do that, and you you can get certain prizes for hitting on the board or hitting the hole. This year we did a, a chipping net. If you hit certain holes, which were smaller or bigger, you got different prizes. Just make it fun for people. Interact with them. Enjoy. Engage. Uh, so if you if you if you don't have interesting people working for you, you better be the one doing it. So because you you are spending your hard earned money, uh, your some of your profits to to sponsor this event, you want to make sure it's going to be worth it. Okay. So. That's that's important. So have some interesting people there. That's a big one. Um, when you are when you are out there, you know, I, I I've been to these tournaments as uh, as just a person, in, you know, you know, a golfer, just enjoying myself. And I've seen all the different companies and their and their sponsorship uh, tables, and I've seen them done very, very well. And I've, I've seen them done very, very poorly. And I'm not going to mention names because that's not what this company, this uh, podcast is about. It's all about learning and growing and providing profits for Idaho people. Um, but let's talk about some stuff that's going to make your event sponsorship successful. We already talked about one, make it look good. Uh, make it, int- you know, have some interesting people that you know are going to engage and aren't uh you know those recluse type people that don't want to talk to people i've seen i've seen events that are manned by those type of people that are terrified to talk to people and it shows they get hardly any leads they probably don't talk to anyone and all they do is say hey here here's a pen take my pen you know that that will get you to call us come on guys people buy from people who they know and who they get to enjoy and have to have a fun experience with. And I'm, I'm not saying to fake it, be genuine, genuine and be real, uh, be all about your core values, but have, have some handouts though. You know, I talk about pens, you know, you can do stuff like that, but find stuff that's not going to be just automatically thrown into the garbage. Um, at this event, you know, we have, we literally spend, you know, a couple hundred bucks on, uh, a big cooler. We have, you know, Gatorades. We have Mountain Dew. We have soda. We have uh, waters, energy drinks, and chips and, and candy. Just for them, whoever comes to our, our booth, just just go at it. Just you know, it's a hot day. We're just taking care of you guys. So it's. I think that's. I think that's a fun idea to do. There's no strings attached. Just have it. You know, and then you have. You, you can have them play a game and you can do something fun where they can win different things where we have, you know, we, we, we can, we do the pro B one golf balls, uh, just a word of advice. Uh, these golfers, even if they're good or not, all they want is the pro B one golf balls. Um, so that's what we put our logos on. Uh, and we, we do the pro B one. They are more money, but it's worth it because they're going to keep them. They're not going to just throw them away. Uh, if you do, if you do the other type of golf balls, a lot of them will just chuck them or give them to their kids or something and they, they won't use them themselves. Um, we do uh, a fun little thing we do. We're in the janitorial business. So we do these little stress balls shaped like toilets and they're hilarious. Put our logo on the front, call them stress toilets. People get a rise out of them. Um, and there's, you know, there's no bad ideas when it comes to handing out some, some merchandise. The only bad idea is like, Hey, here's my, here's my business card. That's that's the only bad idea, because that's going to go st- directly in their circular file when they get back home, or when they get to their next hole that they're golfing at. That's going to go in the garbage. There, they don't care. They don't care about that kind of stuff. But some golf balls, some tees, some sunscreen that can you know that can attach to their golf bag or wh- whatever whatever the event you're going for, make it you know customize it to that event. If it's a barbecue competition, make something. That's going to be fun for that tournament. 
you know, put your name on some spatulas. I don't, I don't care. Do something that's not going to be thrown away and that can and people can laugh about and have fun with if that's your core values. If you're a very serious company and very, you know, direct to the point, you know, and, you know, maybe, maybe have some more serious items like, hey, maybe you want some jump drives with your logo on it or whatever. Just have some merchandise. I'm not going to go too far into the handout stuff, but have something that's not going to be thrown away. Not going to be boring. And then the third thing is have a good call to action. And I, and I say a call to action. I didn't say multiple calls of action. I didn't say, hey, here's my email, my social handle. Here's my Twitter feed. Here's this. Here's my, uh, my, my uh, website, my phone number, my uh, everything. You don't want to do that. You know, literally, we'll hand out these little stress toilets. It has our phone number on there. You know, it doesn't even have our a website. That's all we want them to do. Keep this around. It's going to sit on their desk. They're going to laugh at it. They're going to squeeze it. And if they have a janitorial need, they're going to look at this and be like, you know what? That's hilarious. And I'm going to call this number. Boom. That's going to sit on their desk. That's going to make them laugh. That's going to do wonders. And it has. So have one call to action. You know, if it's something like, hey, you can win, you know, I don't... I've tried this in the past, like, hey, you can win, you know, X, Y, and Z, you know, you can put your name in a raffle for a TV or something. If you put your business card in this, uh, buck, you know, in this uh, bowl, uh, if you sign up for, you know, one of our proposals or a bid or anything like that, then you get people that aren't really interested. You're, they're just signing up to get your prize. So, you know, if you're offering a certain service and they show interest in it, just say, yeah, uh, feel free to put your uh, name in the business card. I mean, your, your, your business card in the bowl and we'll reach out to you uh, about that at this certain day that you can arrange with them uh, at that time of your meeting with them. Don't, I, I don't think putting conditions to it, like, Hey, enter the win this free 60 inch TV. If you sign up for this proposal, very rarely, do those pan out for you? And I've learned from experience on that. So uh, take that for what it is. So have a good call to action, you know, and don't try to fool them. Just be straight up with them. Um, so in this event, I'll just be square with you guys. Um, it was my sponsorship for my company, New Claim, but I also had people signing up for to be on the episodes for that whole business podcast because I had decision makers there, had some really interesting people I was meeting. I'm like, shoot, I would I would love to have you on the episode here. And we just talked about that kind of stuff. And we got people signed up to be on, on, on different episodes. So all and that being said, I didn't bribe them. I didn't say, hey, I'll give you this in X, Y, and Z if you if you sign up for an episode. Because again, if you do that, you're gonna have a lot of no-shows. You're gonna have a lot of people that don't call you back or whatever it is. So just be straight with them. Um, fourth is just have fun, have fun with them. You know, show your core values like we already talked about. Um, it said right here, I was in, on on a uh, article with Forbes, how companies can harness the power of, uh, of event, event mar marketing. It says, in fact, seventy four. Uh, I'll go back here real quick. It says, while other emotions influence our buying behavior more than anything else, there's a reason that event marketing is great. There is a great way to reach people and convert them to clients. Human Humans retain what they experience. In fact, 74% 70 of consumers say that engaging with branded event marketing experience, experiences making makes them more likely to buy the products being promoted according to a 2016 report. So that's that's pretty significant. 74% of consumers say that engaging with branded event marketing experiences make them more likely to buy the product or services you can put in there. And I think that comes down to what they experience at your booth. Are they having fun? Or, or are, they, are they looking at you square in the eyes thinking, why did they put this person behind this table at this booth? This person looks like they're terrified. They're going to cry any minute just by me looking at them. Uh, they should not be at an event. They should not be here. They should be behind a desk or in a laboratory, laboratory uh, minding to their own business. Uh, so have fun with them. Uh, show your core values with them. You know, laugh with them, joke with them. You know, if, if you, if you, it's just like a, 
finding someone who you want to date and marry. You know, if you have to be fake to attract them, do you really want to be harnessed into that, into a relationship with them uh, for years and years and years to come? If you always have to be fake to keep them attracted to you? No, you want people to do business with you that are attracted to you and your core values. And if they're not attracted to you as, as any your values, you're going to have some miserable time doing business with these individuals. Cause you're going to have, you're going to think you're going to go forward and you're thinking, I, my gosh, all my clients are Karen's and you're thinking, wait, I've really had to change myself to attract X, Y, and Z client where a, B, and C client over here are fantastic, and I can be myself, and we have a lot of fun. Yeah, we're not perfect. We make mistakes here and there, but they get it, and we, we make things right, and, and we're good. We have good standing. Over here, I'm always on my tippy toes wondering well, when they're going to cut the cord on us because you're constantly having to be someone different. So be yourself, you know, short, you know, by your core values. And then fourth, all the information you pick up from these uh these these uh event marketing you know people drop their cards they're like oh yeah i'd love to talk with you love to, i'm interested in your services anything like that you know well they're just bebop and having fun take that information import it into your crm programs and follow up with them give them some value add propositions um that's going to help you know not just help but to add value to their lives so if you're a roofer like i always like to use the roofer um you think I should own a roofing company because I, for some reason I always go to the roofing uh, scenarios, you know, offer maybe a free inspection of, of their, of their roof of that client and maybe a percentage uh, off of certain service and don't make it like a 5% off, make it, make it a significant amount off of a certain service. Maybe it not, maybe it's not going to be a full roof replacement, but maybe it's a maintenance service that can happen, you know, Every, you know, every year, maybe your first maintenance services, you get 50% off. Make it significant, though. So they're like, man, these guys are really hooking me up with a good deal. Um, same thing with like, hey, pest control. You offer them a free valuation of their property. You know, what type of, what kind of bugs are, are they're dealing with. Um, and then again, offer them like 50% off their free of their first service as they sign up with you. Uh, bank, you see that all the time. The money machines, people can get in. Uh, and they offer 25 to 50 bucks or, or even more to open up a free account, Op that kind of stuff, offer them some value, you know, you know, that's obviously some, va so obviously some value, uh, to, to, to make a first step to get them to come into your fold. So these are some things that I feel that would make you successful. Uh, this is how we've been able to convert some leads, some interest into actual business. Um, at these, some of these events, um, I think they're important. I don't, I don't think, uh, you know, going to every single event is necessary, especially as you're a small business, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to waste all of your marketing budget on every one of these events, but pick and choose, pick and choose what's going to really fit with your, with your type of business. Um, and find, you know, what's going to be ideal for you. Um, so, you know, if, if you're, if you're in the trades and there's, and, and there's a, a, you know, golf event or some event that's having to do with, you know, home builders and stuff like that, and you want to get in front of more home builders. Yeah. yeah sponsor the crap out of that. Same type of thing all across, you know, the different industries. If there's a, if there's an audience you want to get in front of, and there is an event that's going to be attracting that audience, get in front of them that way, get your name, get your uh, table into that event. So I hope you learned a few things today. Uh, I hope you guys can be more successful with your companies. Hope you can drive more profits into your companies and take more co uh, profits out of those companies and be more successful with your family and, and take your families on trips and have fun. Because in, in the long run, at the end of all this, if we're not taking more money out of our companies, and getting you know, raises as we're employed by uh, by the companies we're employed by, even if we're leaders in these companies, by showing you know our efforts, this X, X Y, and Z reasons why uh, why are we doing it? Why are we doing all this? You know, obviously we're here to to 
to improve our quality of life and to to do this stuff uh, at least for me for my loved ones you know i i i love to have fun with my my family i i view money as having fun with my family and security for my family and if i'm constantly like you know i gotta work i gotta work i gotta work what am i doing so you gotta have some balance and you gotta you know you gotta be doing these type of activities for a reason so i bid you guys all the best of luck go out there go conquer it and uh, go make good things happen as always be happy be grateful and find opportunities to serve others go out there and dominate see you later guys congratulations on spending a couple of minutes getting a little bit smarter having some fun and supporting the idaho business community if you're feeling the love make sure to subscribe rate and review on itunes stitcher or wherever you are 